The grand final for the EMEA region here at Spa Francorchamps is underway. Baptiste Beauvoir leads the field over the line and down towards Lassors for the first of 20 times. He's on the medium tyres. Jose Serrano in second position is on the softer compound, so expecting to be quick. He's going to try and get himself ahead of Beauvoir as soon as he possibly can. And the run out of Lassors for these drivers up through Eau Rouge and Radion is going to be the crucial tipping point in this race, potentially for many. Let's see what's going to happen then. Up through Eau Rouge, up into Radion we go, and down the Kemmel straight then. And look at the run that Serrano has got on Baptiste Beauvoir. He pulls alongside Beauvoir. He's alongside the Frenchman. He's on the outside. They're running side by side. And Serrano is through into the race lead before the breaking zone. Look at Kemmel. He's going through, trying to, on the inside of Coque Lopez. Here comes Lopez on Beauvoir on the Kemmel straight. So Swillow's not too far adrift of this. A great view from Kevlin's car. Lopez is through, is the second ahead of the Frenchman. And his goal really is to run in clear air for as long as possible and hope the Baptiste Beauvoir at the front of the field. We see him there in the blue car. Gets caught up in the scrum. Oh, he spun! Beauvoir spun his round and we've just cut away right at the wrong second there. But Beauvoir has spun. He falls down the order. There he goes. Rejoins in second position behind Patrick Plajan. Oh, what a disaster. Let's see what happened here for Beauvoir. Out of X on the curb. Oh, just got on the power a bit too greedy. Bang, into the wall. Fortunately, he didn't spin it round and face the wrong way. Meanwhile, this battle for third still going strong. Kevlin being pushed by Georgia Mangamo past Adam Sosrillo. These guys have a history, of course, and again, more contact between the two. Soft comp on the tyres here for Valerio Gallo. He's going to be a bit quicker than Baptiste Beauvoir. Got a great run in the slipstream as well. Coming to the inside into Blancsaw. Has to back out on the last moment. Beauvoir had track position there, and Gallo not wanting to take too many risks on lap number four. And he's now fighting three. In fact, I think he's going to take the lead here. Here's Serrano. What can he do? Not much, but I can sit there and give... Coco Lopez a toe, watches his countryman just drive past there. Goodbye, Jose, says Coke. And he comes up to Lake Combe, he'll take that position and then just put away for the middle sector. Coco Lopez up to the lead. Now here is Kevlin versus Asuelo, side by side on the Camel Straight. Then Kevlin on the outside has got the soft tyres on, has got track position. Up behind Jose Serrano again. So that's draft to have better braking with these new tyres. Tucked up the inside, they're going to run and saying, all right, fair enough, crush it. <laughs> and uh, mangled up the third. Steve, what do you reckon on the strategy here? What's Koke's plan? Because going from soft to soft again for a second time, that's a bit of an interesting call. Yeah, so he's still got to do two more pit stops after this. Um, it's a bit of a weird one going for the the four-stop strategy. I don't, I don't know what that's going to be called. Come back to you in a moment there, Steve, because it's Blazan versus Serrano side by side down the Kemmel straight. Blazan, the Hungarian driver, is now ahead of the Spaniard, but Serrano's not going to take that line down. Blazan squeezes him into the braking zone, side by side into Lecum. Blazan's ahead. Oh, big slide there from Serrano as well, costing him time. Adam Tapai is on right on the back of Valerio Gallo here. You can see him in the forefront of his shot going side by side with the Italian, and he takes sixth place away. So Adam Tapai, the Hungarian, is on an absolute charge in the close stage of this race. The important thing is that means less points for Gallo. He needs all the points he can get. This one's going to be neck and neck, I think. It's going to be very close. It is, and it's very close as well. Close behind Maraclino and Mangano going side by side down into turn eight. Mangano is on the outside. Maraclino's on the inside. Crucially, though, the man on the move is Baptiste Beauvoir. He's now through into the top ten, so his race coming good right at the very end of this one. What's the gap from around the source? And there is Coke Lopez. That's Rick Kevlin as well. Kevlin's going to get out ahead. Oh, he does! And Lajan waits! Interesting, so Blajan's now got to get by Kevlum and Lopez. He won't gain five seconds. I think Coco Lopez has got this. I think Lopez has got this. I think Kevlum's going to come under some pressure, though, because the hard tie for Kevlum is going to be very hard for him to resist. Patrick Blajan and Blajan on the Kevl straight goes through into second position. So you called it absolutely perfectly, Jimmy. Kevlum's on the back foot on the hard compound of tyre into the Fanny Chicane. Kevlum's going to try and defend, but late on the brakes there for Serrano. Tries to get the long way around the outside. Can he make the move stick? Yes, he can. Brilliant driving there from Jose. Serrano around the final corner and he comes over the line here at Spa Frogashop to become the EMEA regional final champion. Classic from Coke. Lashen comes home second. Serrano with the boat war on the final chicane as well. He's got it all at sea. He's going to lose out on seventh place. The Swillow's lost out. There's big drama at the final corner. Beauvoir comes home second. What's happened to Swillow there as well? And Gallo's lost out. Gallo's down in 12th place. He's out of the points. I don't believe it. That is disastrous then for Gallo there. I don't know if he's... I think he's done enough to get through, but no point from the double header.